Hey friends, today we're doing a bunch of material painting onto cylinders. This is a really fun exercise to do when you really don't have any other better ideas. So let's get started with iron. One of the things I wanted to get across really quickly was the surface quality of the iron. How the oxidation might play into the colors. Uh, where the surface uh, patina might have been worn away. Just little things like that, because I, I think that's what gives metal a lot of its character, is just where the little nicks and uh, scratches are, where it might have been shattered here and there. I particularly enjoyed painting this part here, where it shows a bunch got cracked off and splintered. I think it's kind of going for that World of Warcraft look. Next up, Ocean. I think my main goal with this one was to kind of show that translucency near the edges and how it would get darker more towards the middle. Other than that, it was just a lot of playing with the reflections on the top of the surface and just trying to sell that, that liquid and sea foam look. So for Crystal, I had to look up a little reference here and there because I wanted to know for sure how how crystals grew from each other. Um, the seed points, the faceting. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I, I went a little wild on the colors because I wanted to have that dramatic, dr dramatic <laughs> uh, fantasy kind of feel to them. I just really liked how this one turned out. Like, especially where the specular highlights are showing up. Next up is magma. I had a really fun idea for this one. We're, we're just gonna have it boiling off the edges and then cracking off in big chunks. Seeing a little bit of splintering as it remelts into itself and slowly fights the force of gravity like molasses. So we had that whole intersection where a bunch just cracked off and the still superheated interior is showing through. I just thought that was like a really cool idea. And it shows that gooey, liquidy side to it. And the obsidian that's forming on the surface of it will have a slightly different quality than the rest of the magma. It'll have that um, kind of velvet-ish shine to it. Planks made me think carpentry, so I thought a bunch of boards kind of wedged together would really sell the material. It could have just been a log, but that, that would have been boring, no fun. Doing all those little pieces of, um, pieces of bark was quite a task. Some materials are more tedious than others. So for hair, I started out by kind of defining the overall shape of it and then slowly building up the details and smoothing it in. Finishing with the streaks of highlight.
Yes, I know, meat. I wanted to go for that super marbled, um... What's it called? Kobe beef? Yeah. Just because there's a lot of texture and I thought it'd be really interesting. Sorry if this grosses you out. This was a quick one. I, I probably should have spent more time with this one, but I felt like the idea got across quick enough. It's kind of a bit a bit like crystal, but you know, they're similar materials. Sponge is a weird one. Like you have all these little holes and some of them pop through, um, some of them bleed into other smaller holes on the interior. I think I really fixated on that like sh razor sharp edge and I just wanted to have that in more places. And for goo, I wanted that melty look, like that it's kind of collapsing on its own weight, um, slowly slopping off. I apologize, this is flying really fast, but um, this would have been a very long video otherwise. I think the highlights really sell that one. Clouds was a quick one too, but you know, I, was, I felt reasonably comfortable with how they looked pretty quickly. This was another very tedious one because I drew in all the leaves and then I had to paint them individually. If I were to do this again, I might have gone a little more um, implied detail than going through all the trouble, but I think it did come out pretty well. Just putting more detail in the shadows. Next up is Candle Wax. I'm not too happy with how this one came out. This this one, if I were to do it again, I'd probably do a lot more to play with the way light shines through candles to be a bit more radiant. For this one, I think I recently read about um, how skin has a lot of green in it, and I wanted to try that as the base color. I think it came out alright, but I, I definitely went a little gross on the skin pores and all the hair sticking out. And the last one here is Marble. This is just a really fun, simple one, but I think the design came through really well. Anyway, <laughs> that was all. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked, give it a like, and if you want, subscribe for more. I'll see y'all later.